Hey guys, today I'm going to show you the annotation features in the Foursquare app available for iOS. If you're interested in seeing some more apps and exactly what I have on my iPad, I have a video where I show you exactly that that I filmed a few months ago. So it's up in the eye and I will have it linked down in the description box so that you can easily find it if you want to watch it. Let's get into the annotation features. So right now I'm just in one of my PDFs in Foursquare. And to open up annotations, there's a few different ways to do it. So if you're using an Apple Pencil, you can just start writing on the score and it immediately takes you into annotation mode. The other way is to tap on the music, then tap on the little pencil icon, and then you can start writing. So previous page and next page will take you to those pages and they will save the changes that you made on the first page so that you can continue annotating without getting out of the annotation mode and then coming back into it. Over on the left are stamps. You have lots of options. So if you wanted to change the dynamic, you could just put it in right there and it pops up with a little magnifying glass to show you exactly where it's gonna go. You can change the color by tapping on this little paintbrush button and then tapping on the color wheel and then choosing your color. And you can add your own with this plus sign you can draw, so since I'm a violist, an alto clef would be really helpful. So I just saved that and then popped up as one of my stamps and I can add it in anywhere I would need it. You can also import a picture. The picture has to be a PNG and it should be around 144 by 144 pixels. You can also rearrange the stamps so you can move higher used things up to the top and things that you don't use down below. Next to the stamps are shapes and they work the same way as the stamps. So these circles are the presets. The first one is just a red pen. The second one is a blue pen. And then the third one is the one that I use the most. It's just a black pen. And I like the thickness of it and everything. The one after that is a thicker black pen. And if you don't like anything about it, you can change the size, the hue, the color, same thing as the stamps. Saturation just chooses how bright or dark. You can choose how transparent it is. So let's turn the transparency down. Now it just looks gray. And then next we have a white pen. I used to use this to erase things in my music and then I found that in the shapes, there is a white box option. So you can cover up multiple lines of music if you want to. If you want to write up here at the top of the page, you can use these three lines to move this bar wherever you need to so that you can do whatever you want up here. So going to the right side, first we have a ruler. You can move this anywhere. And then if you draw around it, it'll give you a straight line. But you can also draw over here and over here. But as soon as you get close to that ruler, it gives you a straight line. Next, we have a selection tool. So you can select any marking you've made and move it to wherever you need it. And it'll stay there. You can also just get rid of it. That got rid of all of the annotations that I put on that section of the music. You can also cut it and copy it. So that is just the annotation. It didn't copy the music at all. Next, we have a text box. Tap on it and then tap somewhere and then it opens up a little text box. And then you can use the pop-up keyboard or you can write. So let's say, um, I wouldn't actually do this, but if it was going into bass clef. So you can use the circle on the left side to move it anywhere you want to. And then the one on the right changes the width and it'll always be the correct height, so it changes that on its own. Next, we have the eraser. 
and it just erases any annotations. And this is just wherever the pencil goes. It's not like some other apps where you can have it erase an entire stroke at once. So this only erases where it goes. So you can see I'm just erasing a little bit of this line. It doesn't erase the entire line. Then the X can clear either the layer that you're in or all of the layers. And then of course we have the undo and redo buttons. And then this shows the different layers that you have on the score. So if you wanna add multiple layers for different performances or anything that would suit your needs, you can add others and write on those layers and have as many as you want. And now my score looks really bad. So I'm just going to go to the eraser, make it as big as I can and just erase everything that I did. So those are all of the annotation features on Foursquare. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel. I post new videos every Sunday at noon Eastern time. Thanks for watching.